I have a prenatal Pilates class for you today. For equipment, we are going to incorporate two dish towels. We're going to use them both as sliders and as a prop where we'll grab them, one of them by the end like this for some upper body work. So if you're working out on hardwood floors, that's all you need. If you're working out on carpet, dish towels aren't gonna work as a slider. So you will need a dish towel for when we use it as a prop and then you'll need something else to use as gliders. Paper plates work well on carpet or you could always buy those plastic disc gliders. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nicole. I'm a stop trained Pilates instructor and a pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist. So you're in good hands today. However, I'm not there in the room with you. So you are first and foremost gonna to listen to your doctor, listen to your body. If anything doesn't feel right, you feel a little nauseous, lightheaded, dizzy, you're going to stop. Now, we're gonna keep class on the shorter side today. Um, so let's get right into it. I think that's all I needed to say. We're going to start in a tabletop position and we will want to be able to slide with a hand and a foot from tabletop. So I would kind of position yourself on your mat this way. And you'll notice I have a towel down too, just for some extra padding for my knees, because we are going to be on our knees for the majority of class today, okay? So uh, knees on your uh, mat, can't talk, and then we're going to have room to slide above and below it. Let's put our right hand on the dish towel and our left foot on the dish towel, okay? So opposite hand and foot. And then the other uh, hand and foot just on the floor. So we're gonna start by warming up with a rock back and forth. Let's find external rotation in the hip joint. So I want you to bring your knees a little wider than hips distance and bring the feet together. And from here, let's just rock it back and forth. We don't really need the gliders to start. They're just in position for when we get into our sliding core work. Shifting the hips back on your inhale. Exhale it forward. Inhale, reach the tailbone back. Exhale up, twice more. And then bringing it up, let's find the opposite rotation. So we're gonna find internal rotation. Your knees can be hips distance apart. I just want you to pull the shins apart, okay? So we're internally rotating the hip joint. Now, instead of rocking back and forward, we're going to do a cat-cow really focused on the lumbar spine. So as you exhale, I want you to tuck the tailbone under, rounding through that lower back. And as you inhale, I want you to flare the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck it under and round. Inhale, find that little extension. So you can absolutely do this through the mid and upper spine as well, take it into a full cat-cow. But I just really want you to focus on the pelvis area leading the way, okay? So I really want you to focus on that tailbone posterior tilt flaring into an anterior tilt. And then if it feels good to get the rest of your spine involved, do it. I know sometimes coming into extension can feel a little uncomfortable as you get later into pregnancy. So don't feel like you have to. Find a super big arch to the back. Do what feels good, twice more. And now I want you to elongate the spine to neutral and bring your shins parallel. Knees are hips distance apart. We're gonna retract and protract through the shoulder blades, again, sinking it with our breath. As you inhale, I want you to let the shoulder blades slide in towards each other. So your chest will lower to the floor just slightly. Now, as you exhale, feel the lift of your pelvic floor, the engagement of your abdominal wall, hugging the bump up and in. And I want you to press the floor away, filling the space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, shoulder blades slide in. Exhale, shoulder blades slide wide, kind of towards your armpits. So we're getting the scapula to glide across our mid back. We're staying pretty neutral through the spine. Really isolating the movement to our shoulder blades. Sinking the movement to our breath. Twice more. Last time. All right, now from here, we're going to slide the left leg long on our exhale and bring it in on the inhale. Keep both hands down to start. So we inhale to prepare, spine is neutral. Exhale, feel the hug of your abdominal wall, like you're drawing your baby bump up and in. Once you feel that hug of the abdominal wall, slide your left leg long. As you inhale, slide it back in. We slide out on the exhale, connecting to deep core, and in on the inhale. 
Using sliders is a great option for bird dog variations like this, especially as you get later in pregnancy. If you find doing a bird dog where like you're lifting your leg and your arm up off of the floor is causing a lot of pressure in your back, it's just not feeling comfortable anymore, sliding is a nice way to keep contact with the floor so you have a little bit of support, but still challenging the deep core. Now I want you to notice as that leg slides out, are you swaying over to the right? Don't do that. So keep that right hip right over the right knee. Twice more. Next time that leg slides out, hold it out. Now from here, we're gonna lift and lower the leg. So on your next exhale, you reach long through the heel and you lift that leg to a hover, firing into the glutes. Inhale, foot comes down to the floor. Exhale, reach long and up. Inhale to lower. So we are not creating this movement by arching into the lower back. Our lower back remains neutral. We create the lift by squeezing into our glutes. So think about making a fist with your left butt cheek as that leg lifts up. We wanna keep our hips square to the floor. So notice if you're leaning over to the right, shift a little extra weight in that left hand to keep you centered. We're gonna hold this leg at a hover and it's gonna be the right arm that does some sliding as we do a little tricep press on the left. In four, you're gonna hold this leg lifted. Three. Two. Next time that leg lifts up, you're gonna hold it lifted. You're reaching long through the heel, you're squeezing into the seat. As you inhale, you're going to bend the left elbow, you're gonna slide the right knee out. As you exhale, press the left arm straight, slide the right arm back in. So picture your body is kind of like a seesaw here. Keep reaching long through that left heel. As the upper body tilts down, the leg will lift up. And then we bring everything back parallel to the floor. Inhale, slide it out. Exhale, press it up. Don't lose that squeeze of the glutes, so really reach long through that left heel, keep it lifted. Four more. Last full rep, and then we are gonna hold down. So this time as you slide out through that right arm, I want you to bend the elbow and come onto that right forearm. And I want you to peel your left hip open so that now we're in the staggered tabletop position. From here, we're going to take our left knee, you're gonna crunch it in, you're gonna kick the leg out, you're gonna bend the knee, you're gonna press it back. Crunches in, kicks out to the side, you bend, take it back. So it's the left leg moving, but we're really working on stabilizing through the right side hip. So you're not doing anything wrong if you feel this more on the right side than the left. Coming up, we're gonna hold the left leg straight. We're gonna sweep it back to tabletop as we press up to two straight arms and then we'll slide back down to this position. So next time you kick that leg out to the side, I want you to hold it out to the side. Now on an exhale, first feel the engagement of your core. You're gonna press your left hand into the floor. You're gonna slide your right leg in and you're gonna sweep that left leg back in line. So we're in the starting tabletop position. Now we're going to slide out, lowering to the forearm. The leg stays straight. You sweep it up and out to the side. Exhale, push it up. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, feel the brace of your core and then slide it out. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, push it up. So we hold on the inhale, we move on the exhale. That way we know that we have our abdominal support and we're managing pressure well in our core. Three more times. And 
This time you slide down. I want you to hold. We're reaching that left leg long. Hold, hold, hold for four, three, two, one. Plant your left foot down on the floor. On an exhale, slide yourself up to two straight arms. And in this kind of half straddle tabletop position, just rock your hips back and forward. A little opening up through the adductors. Nice inner thigh stretch here. Back and forward. If this causes any pelvic pain though, bend the left knee and bring it in a little bit instead of having it straight, okay? So we're gonna do a little break for the wrist before we repeat that on the other side. Give me one more rock back and forward. Oof, I'm feeling tight here. <laughs> and then let's bring the knee in. Grab the towel that you were using under your right hand and you're going to bring it lengthwise like this and we're gonna grab the ends. Now, if you're really tight through the shoulders, this may not be long enough and you may want a yoga strap or something where, that just allows you to hold your hands even wider, just a heads up. So we're going to be in a kneeling position, neutral through the pelvis, shoulders stacked over hips. And I just want you to sweep the arms up overhead and then lower them down. Now, as you sweep them up, I want you to make sure that you're not flaring through the ribs and arching into your back, okay? So we're moving through the shoulder joint. What can happen in pregnancy is we start to get rounded forward. I'm even noticing it in myself. My arms are starting to become a little internally rotated. So we're gonna do some shoulder mobility and chest opening work in this series. Now, I don't just want you to hold the towel, I want you to pull out on it. So keep some tension pulling outward. We're gonna hold the arms overhead, only as high overhead as you can without pushing your rib cage forward. And by the way, if kneeling gets to be too much, you can always sit your bum on your heels. Next time those arms go overhead, I want you to hold them overhead or maybe they're kind of at forehead height, okay? Only as high as you can without compensating. And we're just gonna alternate, cactusing one elbow, pulling it down, and then reaching it back up other side. Exhale, pull it down, inhale up. So don't just think about bending the elbow, really think about that shoulder blade sliding down and in. We have gentle engagement through our glutes here to help hold that pelvis neutral. We're gonna hold the arms overhead. We're gonna do a hip hinge in three, two, one. Hold the arms overhead. Maintaining that this position, pull out on the towel and slide your hips back into a hinge and then bring it back up tall. Sliding the hips back to a hinge. Exhale, bring it up. We're gonna repeat those alternating lat pulls but we'll do it in a hinged position. So next time you slide those hips back, I want you to hold those hips back in the hinge and we're gonna to start to pull one elbow down, up, other side, side to side. So don't tuck your tailbone under, we stay neutral through the spine. If being in this hinged position is uncomfortable, you feel any lower back pain, come upright, okay? Same moves, just repeat them upright. I'm gonna let you lower those arms, but we're gonna stay in this hinge position. We're gonna take it into a wide row in three. Maintain length through the back of your neck. Two. One. Lower your arms at a diagonal. Pull apart on that towel, and we're gonna row the elbows back. Reach them forward. As the elbows row back, I want you to focus on sliding the shoulder blades in towards each other, really connecting to the mid back, keep pulling out on the towel. We're gonna get a little deeper into chest opening. We'll come upright to start and we'll finish in a hinge, alternating between the positions because especially if you're like me and a little later in pregnancy, a lot later in pregnancy, I'm 34 weeks along, um, being in this hinge sometimes for a prolonged period of time, you can start to feel your lower back get cranky and we don't want that. Two more rows. Last time, straighten out those arms, come upright and now bring the towel behind your back. Palms face up to start. I want you to open up through the chest and lift the arms up. From here, you're going to rotate so that the palms face in towards each other. And then you're just going to release palms face behind you. 
exhale, rotate palms in and release. So I don't just want you to think of rolling the hands in and out. So the rotation isn't just coming from your forearm. Really think about having the rotation come from your shoulders. So you broaden across those collarbones, open up as the palms rotate in, and then you can relax them. Open up across the chest. But we're not countering that opening through the chest by arching into our lower back or flaring through the ribs. So think exhale, you have that hug of the core, maintain your neutral spine, just rotate in. We're gonna hold the rotation in so the palms are gonna face in towards each other. In two. Next time you rotate palms in towards each other, you're open through the chest, you're reaching back. Give me a little pulse up of those arms, a little pulse up. Challenging the shoulders, opening up through the chest. We can get really tight through the pecs later in pregnancy and while breastfeeding because we've got that added weight in the front side of our body. Glutes are helping stabilize, but notice if they're getting grippy. Don't over squeeze them. You're going to hold the arms lifted in four. You're going to hinge the hips in three, two, hold those arms lifted, palms face in towards each other slide the hips back and now let's go back to those rolls. So let the palms face up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rotate palms in towards each other, opening up across the chest, palms up to the ceiling, rotate them in. We'll do one more round of those straight lifts in this hinge position. Again, if the hinge position is uncomfortable, do it upright. Okay, next time you rotate palms in, hold those palms facing in. Pulse those arms up, pull out on the towel, maintain the connection to your core, keep breathing. Length through the back of the neck, don't let your head jut forward, so think of sliding your ears back in line with the shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the dish towel, you can sit your bum on your heels, and give me some shoulder rolls. Okay, so we're gonna repeat that series from the top. When we're in our tabletop, it'll be the opposite side working, but you take a few seconds here just to catch your breath if you need to and prepare. So we'll switch sides so that I should face this way. There we go. So we will have our left hand on the glider, right foot on the glider. <sighs> The deeper into pregnancy you get, the nicer it is to take breaks throughout the class. <laughs> I know I find that even when I take my dogs on really long walks, like if they stop to smell something, I welcome the break. I'm like, okay, we're at that, we're slowing down. I've got just over a month to go. You guys take your time sniffing whatever you're smelling. I'm just gonna sit on a rock over here. <laughs> we'll resume our walk later. All right, let's find tabletop position. So left hand on the glider, right foot on the glider. We'll start with the leg slides. So we're going to inhale to prepare. We're neutral through the spine. Press them out away, stable through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor. Engage your lower abs. Hug the bump up and in. Once you feel that hug of the abdominals, we slide the right leg long. Inhale, we bring it back in. Exhale, slide it long and in. So it's the lower body that is doing the moving, but let's not forget about what's going on in our upper half, okay? So I want you to check in. Are you letting your head hang heavy? Don't do that. Your gaze should not be at your feet. You want length through the back of the neck. Your gaze is down at the floor in front of your hands. Also notice what's going on with your shoulders. Are you allowing yourself to sink down into the shoulders? Remember when we were doing that retraction, protraction at the start of class? I don't want you in this retracted position. I want you to push the floor away, fill the space between your shoulder blades so that we're in this nice stable shoulder position. And let's also check in with the elbows while we're doing our little form checklist. Make sure you're not totally locked out and hyperextended. So if the creases of your elbows are pushing forward, just soften them a little bit so that they're still pointing forward, but kind of forward at an inward angle. Straight elbows, but not locked. 
it becomes easier to just hang into our joints as we get more and more pregnant. I catch myself doing it when I'm standing. I just hang into my hips. So it's good to remind yourself, unlock through those joints, make your muscles do the supporting work they're meant to do. All right, next time that leg slides out straight, you're gonna hold it straight. And from here, we lift and lower the leg. So on your next exhale, you fire through the glutes, leg lifts up. Inhale, lower it back down. Think breath first, movement second. And that's important because we want to exhale. We want to feel the engagement of the deep core. Then we want to move. If we lift the leg without the engagement of the deep core, that's when it becomes really easy to just move through the lower back, okay? We don't want that. Lower back stays neutral. Notice if your leg is, if that knee is wanting to bend, really think, reach long through the heel, squeeze your quads, the top of the thigh, then make a fist with that right butt cheek, lift the leg up. Hips are staying level with the floor. We're not leaning over to the left. So you might need to put a little extra weight in your right hand if you notice yourself leaning. And don't be afraid to slow it down. Really connect to your breath, get it right. We're gonna hold the leg lifted. We're gonna do that arm slide out in four. Three. Two. Next time that leg lifts up, hold it at a hover, re reaching long through the heel, firing into the glutes. Now on an inhale, you're going to slide the left hand out as the right elbow bends. Exhale, straight in the arms, slide it back in. Picture your body as a seesaw. So the leg lifts up as the arm slides out. Our house that we moved into this summer that I'm filling in right now, is old, it's over 100 years old. It's a really cool old house, but these wood floors are not the best for slider workouts because they are so old. It's the only thing I miss about our apartment in the city. We'll slide all the way out, bending this left elbow and coming down to the forearm. In four, keep the leg lifted, stay fired through the glutes. Three, two, next time you slide out, bend that left elbow, come onto the forearm. You're going to peel your right hip open. So now we're in this staggered tabletop, the side tabletop position. You're gonna crunch the right knee in. You're gonna kick that leg out to the side. You're gonna bend the knee. You're gonna kick it straight behind you. Crunch it in, kick to the side and behind you. So the right leg is moving, but it's the left stabilizing hip where you're really gonna feel it. So coming up, we'll keep the leg straight. We'll swing the straight leg back as we press it up to two straight arms and square off through the hips. All right, next time that leg kicks out to the side, you're gonna pause when it's kicked out to the side. Inhale here. As you exhale, hug through the core, and then press up two straight arms, leg swings back. So we're in the starting tabletop position. Stay for an inhale, exhale, get the support of your deep core, and then slide the left elbow out, bend into the right elbow, swing the leg out to the side. Stay for an inhale, move on the exhale. Four more. Oof. 
twice more. Next time you come to that side tabletop, you're gonna do that quick hold. Hold, reach the leg long to the side, keep it lifted for three, two, one. Plant the foot down on your exhale, slide up to two straight arms, and then just shift the hips back and forward. Little abductor stretch here. Little rock back and forward. Again, if this causes pelvic pain, bend the knee, bring it in, and then that can help. Or just do both knees down here and rock back and forward like that, okay? All right, one more round of upper body work with the towel, and then we cool it down. So let's bring both knees in. We're gonna grab the towel that was under our left hand. You're gonna bring it lengthwise and grab the ends. So we wanna be neutral through the pelvis, shoulders stacked over hips. And we will start with that sweep of the arms up and down. Whoops. <laughs> you want to pull out on the towel. So we're keeping tension there. And check in with your glutes. They are helping stabilize the pelvis. But as our abs get stretched out, the glutes can get really grippy. So if they're like doing a ton of work, if you find yourself clenching your butt, then sit your bum on your heels instead for this first part and do it here, okay? And then when we come to the hinge, you can come up to your knees, but you would be here. So this second time through this arm flow, we'll go a little quicker through the moves. Next time those arms go overhead, hold them overhead, alternating pull down. Don't just think of bending the elbow, think about what your shoulder blade is doing. Sliding slightly in and down. Slightly in and down. We'll hold the arms overhead. We'll hinge through the hips in four, three, two, one. Holding the arms overhead, slide your hips back. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, hips slide back, relax through the pelvic floor. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor upright. Next time you come to the hinge, hold in that hinge position and we alternate that lat pull. No excessive arch to the lower back. So with every exhale, think hug of the bump up and in. Give me four wide rows in three, two, one, arms straight, you're gonna lower them down, and now we row the elbows back and reach them forward. Keep pulling out on that dish towel. If the hinge position gets uncomfortable, come up to a full kneel for me, or come upright sitting your bum on your heels. We'll come up tall, towel comes behind our back, focusing in on that chest opening work, in four, three, two, one. Come upright, swing the towel behind your back, palms face up to start, little lift of the arms without flaring through the ribs. And we rotate palms in towards each other. And then palms face up, exhale. Not just thinking about rotating through the forearms, really think about the heads of your shoulders, rolling open, broad across the collarbones, and relax, opening up, and relax. We'll hold with the palms facing in. We'll lift and lower those straight arms in three, two, hold with the palms facing in towards each other, straight arms lift, Lift, stay open through the front of the chest. Notice if this is causing your head to want to jump forward. Think of sliding the ears back in line with your shoulders. We'll come into the hinge in four, three, two, one. Final position change, slide the hips back. You're in the hinge position, palms face up, rotate, palms face in. 
Palms up, pull apart on the towel as you rotate in. Exhale, rotate in. We'll hold with the palms in. Straight arm lifts to finish class in three, two. Next time those palms face in, hold them in. Straight arms lift, lift, opening up through the chest, long through the spine, connected to the core. Come upright if this bothers your back and knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you can bring the towel off to the side. Let's come down into a comfortable cross-legged position. One hand on either knee, and let's just kind of make circles through the hips here. Awesome job. We'll cool it down. Switch direction of those circles. This is like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> the later in pregnancy I get, I'm like, can I film a whole class for YouTube that is just tracing pelvic circles? I actually am going to do a class similar to that, sitting on the ball. <laughs> Good birth prep. <laughs> All right, come through center. You can have one towel to the side. It's not necessary, but if you have one within reach, we can use it to slide out. We're going to do a side bend, sliding the bottom arm out and bringing it up. Sliding it out, opening up to the sides of our body. <sighs> Next time you slide out, stay in that side bend and just trace a nice big circle with your top arm. and switch direction of the circles. If it feels good to add in a little rotation through your mid spine as the arm circles, add it in. Once more, and let's come up and do it over to the other side. Side bend, slide it out. My initial plan was for this to be a really, really quick class and it was not really, really quick. <laughs> Next time. I just find that like, I'll plan a class that I'm like, okay, I can, I can do this quickly, but then I just want to take my time and everything. So oh, I have to plan fewer moves. Next time you side bend over, hold the side bend and just circle the arm. And switch direction of the circle. Again, if it feels good to rotate your chest open and close a little bit with it, go for it. Once more. And then let's sit it up tall. One hand on either knee. You can close your eyes if you'd like. And let's just finish with a moment of stillness. Do a quick body scan. Check in with how you feel. You can stay here as long as you'd like, but if you are ready, you can open your eyes if they were closed. Awesome work today. Thanks for moving with me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post prenatal Pilates classes every Tuesday and Thursday um, through my pregnancy anyway, and then we'll switch it up. Other days of the week, I share videos that I filmed prior to pregnancy. So we got a lot of stuff on my channel for everyone. Um, if you enjoyed class, share it with a friend, whether it's a word of mouth or on social media, it's so appreciated. Helping me spread the word helps me grow my channel. Um, and as I continue to work to build this into a successful channel, it helps so much. I mean, I already consider this channel successful as far as the content goes. I'm so proud of what I share here. But I'm talking, let's make it a financial success too, okay? I need your help. Share it with your friends. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.